Here's your wrestling news for August 13th, 2022. And we're kicking off today with SmackDown, which came one week after Karrion Cross's huge return last week. Cross returned with his wife Scarlett, with fans speculating all week as to what they'd do next, but we didn't get too many answers last night. Instead, the couple were restricted to a backstage segment, where Cross made it clear he has his sights set on Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns, something that was already made clear during his return. Given the positioning, Cross could very much challenge Roman Reigns post-Clash at the Castle should the Tribal Chief retain the title. Some have even suggested that Cross will help Reigns defeat McIntyre in Cardiff, forming an easy alliance before Cross eventually betrays the bloodline. Whatever the case, it's clear that Cross is just getting started in SmackDown's main event, even if we didn't get many answers during last night's broadcast. SmackDown also saw a contract signing between Liv Morgan and Shayna Baszler, who made their SmackDown Women's Championship match official for Clash at the Castle. The biggest surprise of the segment, however, was the return of Ronda Rousey, who stormed in with a bag of money to pay off her fine, indicating that WWE only planned on suspending her for a little while. Morgan is expected by many to retain against Baszler and Cardiff, but if the plan is for her to resume a feud with Rousey, then it does raise questions about her title reign. Between Morgan's controversial win at SummerSlam and Rousey's suspension, it certainly feels like WWE is doing all they can to extend Liv's title reign, which does make it come across that the babyface is simply unable to hold her own against the former UFC fighter. This has been an issue for Morgan's entire run as champion so far, that she's been booked as lucky rather than skilled, and may explain why some fans have started to turn on her. If Morgan retains against Baszler, then WWE can drag out her title reign until October's Extreme Rules event, but WWE is running out of reasons for Morgan to be able to put off facing the now heel Ronda Rousey. More from SmackDown now as the show didn't just see the superstars of the blue brand, but also saw three more returns to the show. Prior to the show, it was reported that Hit Rose, Top Dalla, and Ashanti Adonis were scheduled to be at SmackDown, and not only did they return, but they didn't come alone. Appearing on SmackDown, the duo returned alongside B-Fab and made quick work over a couple of enhancement talent. Post-match, the trio reintroduced themselves as the OG3 of Hit Row, earning an ovation from the crowd. While these are the OG3, the group was originally a quartet, which also included Isaiah Swerve Scott, who's now in AEW as Swerve Strickland. When a fan tweeted at Strickland saying how he now has to return to WWE as he's wasting away in AEW, Strickland shared an image of all the AEW champions, which includes himself as one half of the AEW Tag Team Champions. Hit Row's return was huge on tonight's SmackDown, but they'll have to go on ahead without Swerve Strickland, and it remains to be seen what the OG3 do now that they're back. In the two weeks since Triple H has been in charge of WWE's talent relations department, the promotion has seen several returns. SummerSlam saw the return of Dakota Kai, while last Friday's SmackDown saw the return of Karrion Cross and Scarlett, and it was during this week's Raw that Dexter Loomis made his presence felt. All of these returns have been overseen by the game, and fans can expect even more ex-superstars to make a comeback. According to Fightful Select, sources within WWE said that the returns aren't stopping soon, though it should be noted that the report didn't say who these future returns may involve. As we mentioned earlier, last night's SmackDown also saw three quarters of Hit Row return, as Top Dalla, Ashanti Adonis, and B-Fab all made their presence felt. Triple H clearly has a vision for WWE, and a large part of that means undoing what his father-in-law did, but who do you want to see come back to WWE? Let us know in the comments. Two names fans are hoping to see are Sasha Banks and Naomi, who walked out of Raw during the May 16th episode over a creative dispute. After the pair were stripped of the WWE Women's Tag Team titles, it seemed like both women were done with WWE, but that was before Vince McMahon retired. With the ex-chairman gone, it's expected that both will be back, and in the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave Meltzer revealed that the pair will be back very soon. The current plan is for Banks and Naomi to have some involvement in the ongoing WWE Women's Tag Title Tournament, despite all spaces already being filled. The belief is that Banks and Naomi will be a surprise addition to the tournament, though it's unclear how WWE would fit this ninth team into the ongoing eight-team all-female brackets. 
It's been reported that Banks and Naomi have already agreed to a WWE return, and unless plans change, fans can expect to see both women back within a matter of weeks. We are heading across the pond next as NXT UK has been running since late 2018, but things are far from easy in the promotion at the moment. Earlier this week, two sets of tapings were cancelled, and this has been a cause for great concern throughout the entire roster. In the Observer newsletter, Meltzer notes that the talented crew were told that the taping had been cancelled because BT Sports Studios required the area for soccer coverage. This didn't sit well with the superstars, who believe that another venue could have been found for the taping, and many have said that flat-out cancelling tapings is never a good sign. That's not the only issue NXT UK is facing, as Ilya Dragunov recently had to vacate the NXT UK Championship, which has been seen as a huge blow to morale. While NXT UK has been running for years, the brand has never been treated on the same level as Raw, SmackDown, or NXT 2.0, and it looks like difficult times are ahead for the UK-based show. If you've watched WWE, you'll know that name changes in the company are nothing rare, especially over the past few months. It was earlier this year that Vince McMahon made a rule banning any part of a wrestler's real name, which forced a lot of changes across the roster. This rule changed Walter to Gunther, Pete Dunne to Butch, and Austin Theory to just Theory, but now this rule may be becoming a thing of the past. In the Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave Meltzer notes that the rule about name changes may be ending, and we've already seen Angel get the Garza part of his name back. Meltzer noted that Umberto, Angel Garza's cousin and tag team partner, is expected to receive the Carrillo part of his name again, and that other superstars could have recent name changes undone. And we're ending today to talk about more name changes, as one superstar isn't waiting around for the company to make a decision. When Viper Niven signed with WWE, her name was changed to Piper Niven, as Randy Orton is the promotion's resident Viper, but when she was called up to the main roster, she was given the name Dewdrop. During a recent appearance with Inside the Ropes, Dewdrop addressed her name and said she's had talks about getting it changed. I'll give 100% full transparency about it. We did have a conversation about it. We did have a conversation about it because here's the thing, before it was Vince's vision and now it's Triple H's vision. So it's like, what's your vision and where do you see this going? Are you open to ideas? Dewdrop hasn't had her name changed yet, but it could be coming as part of Triple H's vision for WWE. So we'll just have to see if Piper Niven is able to make an impact on the main roster. Well guys, that's our news for today. Please share your comments below. Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. And as always, thanks for watching.